I'm John Holden, and welcome to The Green Room. We're starting off here in the Big Apple, home of big buildings, big banking, and big investments, especially in the field of alternative energy. It's potentially the biggest change since the Industrial Revolution, today's global transition to a low-carbon economy. And leading the way in this transition is the investment banking industry. If the world is going to acknowledge that there is a problem with rising greenhouse gases and it's going to address it, it needs a way to shift and, and turn over the capital stock of the, of the world's energy, uh, energy producing um, uh, sectors. And that, that requires a lot of money um, and a, a lot of uh, investor initiative. And, and that's, that's basically the role that you know, banks play. Congress, the president, everybody is promoting renewable energy, so it's, you know, we need to, need to continue doing what we've always been doing. If we pull back now, I think it would be, uh, it would be a, a big problem for the country. But while the current economic crisis is causing many companies to postpone or even abandon their sustainability projects, the more forward-looking players are seeking investment in green businesses as the engine for future growth. We're really only a, a few short years away from really having a significant scale, maybe 15 to 20 percent of our power coming from these types of uh, from fuel sources. Society is headed toward a more sustainable future. Uh, the environment is important to our clients and our clients frankly have to mitigate risk around the environment and also have to try to run their businesses in a more economic and sustainable way. If we can provide capital to help them do that, then you know that works for us as well. As the investment banking arm of J.P. Morgan Chase, J.P. Morgan is one of the leading investment banks funding these worldwide changes to promote sustainability. They do so by extending credit to green companies and by advising companies and even nations on how to prepare for a low carbon economy through Climate Care, which is a carbon offset company that J.P. Morgan purchased in 2008. In particular, Africa is a place uh, where a lot, of, a lot of finance is needed to, to address a number of different problems. The monies that are given to, uh, the, to purchase the carbon offsets go to purchasing uh, efficient cook stoves in East Africa. And those cook stoves do a number of different things, but one of which is uh, reduce the carbon intensity of what was being burned before by almost a third. So you kind of have the full spectrum of uh, bringing uh, finance and commerce to solve a problem. Uh, you, you know, you have to put a return profile in front of investors to attract capital, and this is a, mesh, uh, is a, way, is a way to do that. J.P. Morgan is also a major player in direct investments in alternative energy, including the largest investor in wind farms in the United States. Its 58 wind farms spread across 16 states supply enough energy to power over one and a half million homes. It's a good solution for the country because they're, uh, they're scalable. You can build a lot of wind farms today. Uh, they're economical, competitive with, uh, with uh, traditional power sources. It's providing clean energy without utilizing any fossil fuels. And I think that's what people really want. That's what they're looking for. It means an investment banking company like J.P. Morgan has found a need to position itself as a green policy leader, operating in a sustainable and environmentally conscious way, as well as developing its own green exchange, a global environmental products exchange, where you can trade environmental futures, credits, options, and contracts for markets centered on environmental responsibility and solutions to climate change. It's a very entrepreneurial industry, so there are a lot of, there's a lot of change taking place. And as a banker, where, where there is change, there's opportunity for us to, to either provide advice or capital, and that's an opportunity for us to make some profits for our shareholders. The role of investment banking has changed with today's concern about climate change. In fact, today, investment bankers and banks like J.P. Morgan are seeing opportunity to become a top player, even a green broker in the global pursuit of sustainability.